Hey, so what we're gonna be doing now is some bicep exercises. And really for biceps, it's all fairly obvious, but there's a lot of variations that you can do. So I'm gonna show you some standard variations and a couple of interesting ones that I think are worth mentioning. So to start out, you've got your basic bar bicep curl. Now for these, it's really obvious. You just grab the bar, you stand there, Make sure that your, you know, your glutes are locked in, your abs are tight, everything's tight so that you're stable, and just do a curl like this. Bring it up to the top, lower it down slowly. Just like that, simple bicep curl. Now, you can also do what's called a reverse curl. This puts a little bit more strain on your forearms and it's also a great way to grow your biceps. You'll probably find that you're a bit weaker when doing reverse curls. I definitely am. And uh, yeah, just do the same exact thing, but with your hands over instead of under. So this is the position for an overhand curl right here, just like that. It's a good exercise for your forearms. And these ones are definitely better with the bar, I think. You can do them with the handles, but this keeps you very honest, keeps your form very consistent, and you know, it's just a good movement to progress on over time. So that's an overhand curl, and I already showed you the standard curl. Now what you can do, of course, is also grab your handles, and you can get the same sort of exercise with the handles. Uh, you can do the overhand, underhand, but what I wanna show you, so I'll just do one you know, here, like you can do the alternating curls, like this arm and then this arm, and then do it this way as well, the reverse curl. And you can even like put them both right here if you wanna change things up a bit and have both your arms right here at the same time. And the benefit of that is actually for your reverse curls, they're both gonna be in front of you. So the weight's sort of pulling this way a little bit. It's a bit more comfortable, and it's also actually a little bit more difficult on the way down. Your leverage isn't as good because the weight's in front of you. So I like doing them this way. You can have both the weights right here, doing them both at the same time. And another thing that you can do is, I'll set them both up for this one, is you can do hammer curls. You can actually do hammer curls with the bar if you break it apart. But um, I think, I mean, actually, maybe, maybe I'll show that. It's just, it's, uh, it's not necessary because you have the handles. You can bring your handles down like this and grip them like that. So if you do this um, and you hold them like that, you can actually just do a standard hammer curl with the uh, resistance bands. You just pull them up and down like that. Now, of course, you need to put it on whatever notch is most comfortable for you and get your hand. Oh, this one's, this one needs to be adjusted. There we go. Yeah. Grip it like that. Just make sure it's not sliding around a lot like it just was for me. And do your standard hammer curls as many reps as you want. And of course, like I said before, you can change it up. You can put both of them right here. So the weight's more in front of you for both your arms. You can step back more, have your arm locked out like this. There's so many things that you can do in order to change the way that the weight feels. And really, it's just up to you to experiment with a bunch of these variations. Like here, you can lean forward, have your arm out behind you like this. Do another one like this. There's a lot that you can do to try different exercises with your Evo Gym. There's a lot of different movements. You can even do something like go under your leg and do like a more, uh, how do you say, a more strict curl. I would actually put it on the first notch for this one. And I'll go on ahead and do it real quick. Come under your, your leg and do a more strict curl like that. Now I personally need more weight than this for it to like be strenuous, but right there, you can have a pretty strict curl and bring it under your leg. And the reason I'm showing you this is because there's just a lot of different things you can do for your biceps. There's so many ways that you can mix it up and like, you know, find different exercises that work for you that it's really, uh, it's pretty unlimited. 
I'll show something that's a little bit um, unique as well. Just, uh, you know, just because we're here, you can actually lay down, put your arm on the base and extend it and bring the band to your face. So I'll go on ahead and put this one on the first notch as well. And I'll show you this workout. Now this one might be a little bit awkward for some of you, but what I like to do is no, don't even use a handle, lay down, have my arm stretched out on the base like this is tight and I bring the weight to my face. Now you'll see that the base is actually lifting up a little bit. That's okay. As long as you know that it's safe and it's sturdy right there and it's not going to move, you know, it's coming up a little bit because of course we have like almost no weight on the base. You can come further up if you want and actually get it right there. But you know, the point here is that there's a lot of different variations that you can do. Like you can experiment, you can find different things that work for you. You can bring the weight across instead. Here, let me move this. You can actually bring the weight across from you, you know, with both hands. There's so many different variations for biceps. So like if you want to find a good bicep workout or routine, you can go on YouTube and find something and then just do the exact same thing with the Evo Gym. There's really just an unlimited number of ways that you can work out your arms with this. So that's it for this video. I hope I gave you a good idea of some different movements that you can do with your biceps and I'll see you in the next one. What's up? So in this video, we're gonna be covering some different tricep exercises. And for triceps, there's so many different things that you can do, just like with biceps, but I'm gonna try and give you a good showing of some possibilities with Evo Gym. And you know, if you come up with anything interesting, then you can share it with everybody else. So to start off with, I'm gonna go to the overhead extensions. I love doing these in the gym. I like using the Evo Gym with it as well. So all you do is you get it on probably the third or fourth notch, depends on how much weight you're using, how tall you are, all those kinds of things. Um, and all you do is you get down, bring it up, push it over your head and come down. So keep those arms, keep your elbow, maybe in like the same position, try and keep your arm from moving too much. All you really want moving is your forearms. And now this right now is with a wide grip. You can also do it with a more narrow grip. So what I'll do right now is I'll bring my hands in the middle, bring it up right here, push it overhead with the narrow grip right there. I honestly like the narrow grip a lot more because you're just able to keep your arms more stationary. It feels more comfortable on my elbows and like my triceps are getting a better stretch at the bottom. So be slow and controlled. Feel like you're just moving that weight with your triceps. Try and keep your elbow as still as you can. Keep the area where your bicep is still, and just move your forearms upward. All right, so that's it with the closer grip. Now what we can also do is put the, uh, put the bar this way. I'll just move this over really quick. One thing I love doing is I just like to put the bar on one side of the base. So like this, I can have both bands over here and set on two different sides. So that way the weight's actually pulling in one direction, which can be really nice for something like overhead extensions. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get right here, grab the weight, oops. That might've looked really awkward because it was. And get the weight over your head, get my hands in the middle and do a tricep extension. You can see how it's really pulling my hands back like that, like the weight's really right there, it's really stretching my triceps, just like that. It's a really good exercise for your triceps. Just a standard overhead extension. Keep your elbows in place. Move the weight like that, straight forward. All right. And by the way, to do it in less of an awkward way than I just did, what you really wanna do is walk up with the weight Stand in between the bands and the bar and bring it up like before. Get underneath the weight, do it like that. So, you know, it doesn't look as ridiculous and you're not having to twist around with the bar in your hand. All right, so those are some overhead extensions. There's obviously other variations you can do with it. For example, 
you can have both of the bands right here and you can use a rope handle. So I'll go on ahead and show you the rope handle real quick. Uh, it's the same exact situation as a barbell, but you know, you have a little bit more flexibility with your hands. It can be easier on your elbows and you can squeeze more at the ends because you can really stretch, stretch out at the end. I'll show you what, what I mean, but at the lockout, you can really squeeze. So here for an overhead extension, pull the weight up, stand forward, make sure you're keeping your feet in the center of the base. So you're not wobbling a lot and extend just like this. There you go. Extend. Stay centered and at the top, you can really pull it out and squeeze at the top. There you go. Just like that. So that's the workout with a rope. All right, so with the rope handles, you can also take them and put them on a lower notch and you can do seated overhead extensions. So these are one that I like to do a lot as well. You can put them on the second one or the first one, depending on how far away you are. And like, what I like to do is just sit towards the ends, just like this, bring the bands up and exact same thing as when you're standing up, pull them forward. Now the back of the base might be coming up a bit, but it's not a big deal. As long as you feel like it's not going to just completely you know, shoot up because it's not, you know, the base isn't flexing. All that's happening is it's lifting up because you just don't have enough pressure towards the other side of the base. So that's another way you can do overhead extensions. You can also do laying down skull crushers where basically all you're doing is you're taking the bar, you put a lot of weight on it and you push them up like this with the barbell. Well, actually, you want to get a little bit further back like this when you do it. Now, I'll show you that really fast. There's a lot of different exercises that you can do for your triceps with this. All right, I'm going to get off of the rope handles and put this on. I'll use the barbell really quick again, just for the sake of... Uh, showing you how to do it with them. Cause with the handles, it's the same situation. You just, uh, you know, basically you don't have both your hands locked into the same path. All right, I'm gonna use probably the first notch right here. And let me make sure it's the same on the other side. All right, so they're on the first notch. Right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get down and just sort of shimmy underneath the weight. It's gonna pull forward a little bit, bring it up over me, get down here. Back should be flat against the base. Push it up overhead. And you might need more weight for this, but you're basically doing a skull crusher. Now what I like to do with these is get on some pillows so that way I'm a little bit further away from the ground and there'll be more tension at the bottom. Because with these, you really need to have like, you know, either a lot more weight or just be a little bit further away from the base because you want to have more tension right here. But you're doing the same thing that you are with an overhead extension, just bringing your hands to your face, keeping your elbows in the same position and making sure that you're moving the weight using your triceps. Just have your forearms move. All right, that's it for a skull crusher which you can do, like I said, sitting up on some pillows, bring a, a chair or something, just whatever you can to like elevate yourself a little bit so that there's more tension on, at the bottom. A lot of you can probably do the same exercise by just adding some more weight as well. Now, all those workouts that I just showed you, you can do using the handles as well. But I'm gonna show you some that are even more catered towards the handles than using the bar or the rope handles. So for using the handles, one thing I love to do is tricep kickbacks. Tricep kickbacks are often done in the gym with a free weight or a cable. And here with resistance bands, it's the exact same movement and it's really easy to set up. So 
I'll just do it with one arm for the purpose of demonstration. Here, here, I'll, I'll use the other side. So all you do is you're gonna probably want this on your second notch up here. Put it in, attach it to the handle as usual. Get your hand in there, lean forward, bring this arm up next to your body. Make sure that it's gonna be stationary. And I'm, I'm like fine just having one leg on the base right here. Just have one leg to make sure the base isn't moving and kick the weight back. Keep that back arm stationary. A lot of people will say to put it parallel to the ground. Whatever works for you, as long as you have tension on your tricep throughout the movement. Now this is a very difficult exercise to do with a lot of weight. So you're probably gonna wanna use less weight than you would use for an overhead extension. So keep this part stationary and just move it straight backwards. It should almost kind of feel like someone's pinching your arm. It's a very difficult movement. And I'm like not really in the best position because I'm trying to face the camera at the same time. But you wanna make sure that your chest is facing straight forward. You're bent over like this. You have your arm up, locked out, tucked into your side a bit, and you're just kicking it back. Yeah, it's a really good workout. And then do the same exact thing for your other arm by having it right here and doing the same exact thing. You can also do them both at the same time, of course, whatever works for you. And you can do a single arm overhead extension. You can do it seated like this, you know, put it on, get further away if you need more tension at the bottom or stand up and add it to another notch, like, or like even bend down. There's just so many things you can do, but you wanna make sure when you're doing all these exercises, if you're trying to make progress, that you remember what variation you're doing and which notch you're doing it on. That way you can track your progress over time and make sure that you're improving on the movements in terms of either reps or weight or both. So I think that's most of the exercises for your triceps that are like more conventional. There's definitely a lot more that you could do, but those are my recommendations for starting out with your Evo Gym. And if you have anything interesting come to mind, just shoot me an email, share it with others uh, in the community, and that's it for this video.